Uh, today I'm going to install this 20 watt solar uh, monocrystalline panel uh, into my caravan to keep the battery topped up while I, it's in storage and I thought that it gave me an opportunity to do a bit of a solar 101 um, how do we connect solar panels to batteries uh, and how easy it is really um, so that's what I'm going to do this morning so the most simple systems just need a solar panel obviously and a battery to store the charge and a solar charge controller to ensure that our battery doesn't get overcharged or undercharged um, so it's dead simple to put these three together and I'll show you how to do that now so firstly we're always advised to connect the battery up first and I've got two wires here uh, that are going to have um, terminals on the end to connect to my battery and they're just twisted at the end and this has got a fuse in it so it's fused at 4 amps in this case this is actually a 3 amp solar charge controller um, next time I pop down I will bring a 3 amp fuse for it but we just need to connect this here to those two centre terminals uh, positive on the left and negative on the right as indicated in the picture so I'll do that now so the solar charge controller is now wired in there and I've already connected the positive terminal not the negative um, and on this occasion I'm using these snap-on uh, battery terminals here so all I need to do is pop that on there clip it down and we can see it's actually very dim but the power LED is on so we now have power to our solar charge controller now for the solar panel, now most solar panels will come with two wires clearly marked positive and negative and they may not all be in the same bit of cable um, but it should be fairly obvious and again we just need to connect red positive to the positive terminal here on the charge controller and black to negative so there it is complete you can now see the solar charge light there illuminated on the charge controller and that's it really you've got a solar panel connected through a charge controller to a battery and it's as simple as that you do have a load output on a lot of solar charge controllers and you could connect lights or an inverter onto the larger charge controllers uh, but this system here is simply to keep my battery topped up in the caravan when it's in storage and now I know this system is working, I'm going to pop it into the caravan and complete the installation. In the inside of the caravan, the um, battery box is here. This is where the battery lives. Uh, it's accessible from the outside. And there's a small hole here drilled uh, for the two uh, battery wires going into the charge controller. So I have the charge controller here and I have added this bit of wire and a 2.1mm, 5.5mm uh, connector for my solar panel so I can disconnect it when I want to uh, but the battery can stay permanently connected so the positive wire can go in here and the negative in the other side now this isn't connected to the battery yet I need to complete that connection on the outside so there's nothing to worry about at the moment And now, now that's in, I can close this uh, fuse connector up and I can mount this little charge controller on this little piece of wood uh, to make sure it doesn't rattle about. So it's installed there, screwed in so it's uh, not going to fall off and we need to keep these wires to the battery as short as possible for efficiency uh, but that's probably not going to be a massive problem in this case uh, when I show you where I'm going to put the solar panel. Anyway, we'll go outside now and connect the uh, charge controller to the battery. So I've connected the solar charge positive wire into here, into this snap-on connector with the other 12 volt system uh, cables. We've got the, just the main 12 volt system here and the motor mover um, just here, which uh, moves my caravan when I've uh, into tight spaces. So 
I've also done the same with the negative terminal, so we can just connect that up, snap it down, and uh, we should be good to go. You probably can't see that LED, it is very dim, but the charge controller is powered up, and the solar panel is going to go here in the roof light of the caravan. Now, I really wouldn't normally recommend putting a solar panel behind glass, or in this case, perspex, um, but I don't want to be drilling holes in the roof of my caravan to bring wires in, and if I put this solar panel just in the roof light, um, last year it generated enough power to maintain my battery while it was in storage. Remember, this isn't for powering lots of things, because usually when we go away in the caravan, we have electricity, uh, electrical hookup. So this is just to maintain the battery after I've brought it back to storage and use that motor mover just to keep that battery topped up. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to put that solar panel in the roof light. So there we have it literally tied in with a piece of string because every couple of weeks when we take the caravan away I need to quickly whip this out uh, because obviously we don't want it there while we're travelling and uh, whip it back in again when we return the caravan to storage. So this is the perfect solution for me. I guess a couple of bungee cords uh, might be even better. Perhaps I'll get hold of some. So we'll plug in the solar panel now. And here's that connector on the solar panel. And that's difficult to do with one hand, but there we go. And you can see now we've got a solar light illuminated much more brightly uh, than the power light, but they're both actually showing up now. So I am managing to get two and a half watts there, uh, just under 200 milliamps, um, to maintain my battery, shall we say, from a grey sky and a panel that's behind a piece of plastic. So I wouldn't recommend this necessarily, but if that's the only way you've got to do it, it does work, it will maintain a battery and that's exactly what I need in this situation where my caravan's in storage without any mains power. So hopefully you found this video useful, if you did please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.